everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this pit. <laughs> the old man did it backwards. He went, he went, he went. Can't help it. It's the three questions with the five amigos. <laughs> oh, the goddamn beetle bug in here, isn't it? But anyway, guys, we're here to answer your guys' questions that you Kill guys sent in. And guys, Feel free to send your questions in at any time in the comment section down below. Yeah, in the comments. It's the comments. a lot better that way. It is. Uh, so if you guys want to ask a question, go ahead. Be in the comments section down below. Guys, let's go ahead and get started. Ready? Yeah, what the hell are you? Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get started. Does it look like I'm ready? Let, let me get that are you ready? Are you let, me ready? Do, let me do Smackdown and just bring it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, the first question is asked Wrestling by... Wrestling Rampage was great the other day. <laughs> they were great the other day. Uh, Frank and Inkus, 327. Frank and Inkus. His question is, what's the worst match you've ever seen live? <laughs> now, we've been to multiple wrestling events. Indies, yeah, we have. WWE. Indy, WWE. Uh, is, there, is there any that come to mind? Yes. Okay. Here, here. Okay. This match. Here, here? Yeah, here. Okay. It was supposed to be a table match. <laughs> to me, I called it the door match. <laughs> the well, door match? Now. Well, man, and now you could go where, where it was performed at. You've got, you got to say where it's performed at. Ladies here. and gentlemen, it was a packed house. It was a packed house at the Catholic Youth Center. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it is. It's the Catholic Youth Center. It was, it's a church. Yeah, it, it, all right, it's fucking called the Von Reno Center. Yeah, Von Reno it's Center. A, it's, it's a fucking small church. Yeah. Now they don't do wrestling there. Yeah, they don't do wrestling there. No, they don't do it. Uh, Back uh, in the day, they had it was a great. match. And Tommy, this was OVW? Yes, it yep. was. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what fucking year it was. Shit. A couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago. Uh, there was, it was supposed to be a table match. It's like, okay, table match, cool. Cool. There's no goddamn tables, they're doors. They're doors. You see the knob off the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You can see the hole where the knob used to be. They had about three, four of them stuck under the ring. Yes. And we see them pulling them out. It was fucking doors. Doors! doors. White doors. White doors. And the thing was... Not even good doors, either. Yeah, yeah they were shitty doors, but... Yeah, they were like those goddamn fucking... What they did to set it up was they had to put two chairs on the end. But this is the worst part. They put the chair, like the chair, they put the doors on the back of the chair. Yes. Yeah. Now, you know what and would happen... And it kept falling off. Yeah. Yes. You know what would happen, you know, if you, if you pick somebody up and slam it, you know... It's not going to go through that. The, the backs are going to cave in like that right yeah. there because it's not going to do they, anything. They put the doors on the on the back of the chair. Not it's, where the goddamn seat is. Yeah, not where, where the ass stay. is. <laughs> not where you yeah. sit on the ass. <laughs> yeah. You know. And the damn thing kept falling over. And people were telling you're going to have to switch that dumbass. Yeah. And yeah. Like, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 And Tommy eventually he does put him through the table. No, nope, put him through the door. Put him through the door. Excuse me. And Tommy, a piece of that door flew right in front yes. of us. I actually own a piece of that door. Yeah, you own a piece of that fucking <laughs> collapsing door. We can get it right now. We'll show you. I haven't. I haven't put it away somewhere. Yeah. But I have to go with the door match. <laughs> the door match. Pops, what was your uh, worst match you seen live? Well, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna build this up. It was right here. Old B W. At the, at the Von Rich Duna Center. Von Reno. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to build this up. It was a great match. It was a pack. And I'm talking about pack. And why it was packed? It's because of one person. That's the only reason why it was packed. And that right there was Bill the Superstar Dundee. That's the only reason why it was packed. Now, I'm going to give you a little, little thing here, you know. I, I knew what the match would be even before it even came out. No, I out. called the match. <laughs> Tommy uh, called the match. You <laughs> asked who, who, who you thought I was, he was going to face. His opponent, his opponent, was a great wrestler called The Body Guy. And by the way, we should say this right here, right now. If the you guys, match is on YouTube. The match is on YouTube. If you guys want to go and watch it, you can watch it. And guys, you see me, you see Tommy, you see my son, you see Pops. We're actually in the crowd. You yeah. can see us. Yeah. <laughs> Type in The Body Guy versus Bill W. Yeah, you can watch it. And we'll here's, here's the thing. We knew, we knew what it was going to be. We knew it was going to be comedy. But the thing that made us laugh most of all 
What, that I got it right? Yeah. <laughs> and then the biggest thing, Matt, 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 what, Matt, Matt, if, if you guys look real close, if you guys try this in, you look real close, you'll see Caden, which, which is Joey's son, my <laughs> grandson. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Bill done these shitty music playing it's so funny. Yeah. Here he comes out in his fucking baby blue boot, cowboy boots. His what? Superstar on the ass. Yeah. He comes out. Caden's got his hand out. He goes on the other side of the ring, jumps in the ring. Hey, Caden gets upset, waves his hand like this right here, like what the hell, and then hugs his dad. <laughs> <laughs> you were, if you, you type that, he in, didn't see it at first, and then I yeah. showed him. He started laughing his ass off. If you type that in, you'll actually see Caden hug his dad. Cause he got mad, cause Bill didn't give him five. Yeah. But you see, see dad in there? Yeah. Yeah. Pull up the pants. Yeah. If you guys want to, you guys can type that on YouTube. You'll you see him in a Pepsi shirt. Yeah, you'll see him in a Pepsi shirt. I'm in a fucking Pepsi shirt! He still owns that Pepsi shirt, by the way. Because Pepsi is a good drink! I'm going to be like fucking Ox Baker here. <laughs> <laughs> Worst match I've ever seen live was the squash match in Hodgensville. <laughs> the corn break. And this was also on VW. Imagine this. Alright, this was in maybe 2004, possibly. No, but they were some good events for that one. They did, but this match was just shitty, right? Yeah. yeah. It was Bobby Lashley, <laughs> when he was known in OVW as Blaster Lashley. He took on this guy in a fucking, uh, wearing wear overalls. He looked like he was from Deliverance. Yeah. Like, 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 most usually like, like the ones that's uh, around us. You know the ones that are Trump supporters. Yeah, the one, the the, the, the the ones that are Trump supporters that don't know, you know, the, re, the, the that he gave tax cuts to rich people where poor people had to make the difference. And Bobby Lashley, but they don't for him anyway. Beats this guy. And his name was Cornbread. <laughs> yeah, Cornbread. I'm not. I'm not joking. His name, his was, name, was, his name was Cornbread because we were there. We know. And uh, Bobby Lashley gets him into the power slam and the running power slam, beats him, and Cornbread is still laying there on the damn mat. Nobody's saying nothing, Nobody. right? <laughs> like, it was, it, Lashley already left. Here's the thing. Here, the it, it was, here's the thing. Bobby Lashley had already left, right? And it was nothing but stone cold silence. I <laughs> swear to God, if you'd have dropped a pan, you could have heard it. And some guy behind us. <laughs> he was slapping. We rolled. We had to. It was funny. In this country ass accent, he goes, "I, I think he's dead." We, we were sitting in the chairs, and I must admit, we rolled out of the fucking chairs. We laughed so damn hard it was funny as shit. Sitting in the lawn chairs, <laughs> yeah, the lawn chairs. Eh? And, and, and here's another thing, guys. At that right here time, I got to say this: uh, their, their, their mother was was with us, and she, and she was, she, she was in a wheelchair because her, her, her legs and everything were diabetes. These two rasters come out, and then they, what were their names again? I forget their names. I know one was Johnny Jeter. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot who the other one was. Was it, was it Mark Magnus? Yeah. I believe it was, it was Muhammad Hassan. Yeah. But, 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 but one of them flowed the other one out, and, and they, somehow they, they, they started wrestling out, outside the ring, and, and, and they, and they ro rolled around your mother. And while they were hitting each other, you he could hear. Her wheelchair. While they was they hitting each other, they bumped into her yeah, wheelchair. While they was hitting each other, they both of them would look up and say, "Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am." It was the funniest act I ever seen. And I, you, I, I felt so sorry for those guys because they actually felt so embarrassed of themselves. And and when they got up, they, 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 when they when the referee called, I think the referee called the match and just brought a count out, didn't he? Uh, I, th I think it was a double count. Yeah. And, it, and when they got up, I thought, I thought it was so adorable. But when they got up, they they both kissed uh, their mother and, 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 and patted her on the shoulder and said, we're, we're very sorry, and they both gave her a kiss, which I thought was adorable. Let's go to the next question. Asked by Gregory Shulette. <laughs> Greg Shulette. Gregory, man, you're a good guy. You're my brother. Thoughts on the infamous Black Saturday back in 1985? <laughs> Black Saturday. Where Vince took over TBS, the Superstation. The Superstation TBS, where uh, Vince McMahon comes on there uh, and instead of 
you know, it being the Southern NWA uh, wrestling, they're showing shit from New York. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and the people didn't like it. <laughs> and people come, hated it. Come, people fucking come unglued. I guarantee that the, 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 peop the people that, that had their TV on, knowing that at 6.05, NWA was coming on. 605, we're going to see Gordon Soley. We're going to yeah. see, uh, you know, yeah. uh, you know, Flair and yeah. Anderson and all I, these. I, I, nope, I, you ain't yeah, seen that yeah. now. I guarantee you that, that they were throwing fucking chairs through their damn TV. And uh, they got multiple calls for TBS. Uh, and uh, multiple calls, multiple uh, uh, mail-in um you know, complaints. Yeah. yeah. Um, they didn't want to see that. Well, well, one, Ted Turner thought they were going to get a uh, studio mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. Yeah. No, all, all Vince did was give them tape shows. Pre tape yeah. shows, yeah. Pre tape Pre -taped matches. matches. Mm -hmm. Now, he thought it was going to be like the, N like, like the NWA. That's what he thought. But like always, Vince McMahon fooled them all. All, all he got was pre tape matches. You know, shit from the Spectrum, shit yeah, from, yeah. Uh, you know, from yeah. every place. Madison Square Garden. Yeah, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, Madison Square and, Garden. And, and it was like, you know, people wrote in, they, 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 they TBS got fucking hate mail. Bad. And, you know, it didn't last too long. No. Uh, where uh, Jim Crockett bought it back. Yeah. Yep. And pretty much financed uh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania won. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, when Vince's got there. Uh, I think it was. I think it was like a million dollars yeah. that that, that, that right. Vince wanted to sell it back to Crockett, and uh, um, pretty much he financed WrestleMania off, off, off that. Uh, yeah. Off that. So uh, yeah, it it was uh, it was not liked when they when they seen it uh, yeah. because you know they they were used to seeing Gordon Soley. They were used to seeing yeah. uh, the Dusty wrestling Rose. Dusty Rhodes. Uh, they wanted to see them. They didn't want to see fucking, you know... G.J. fucking Strong. <laughs> yeah, G.J. Strong. Or fucking Tony Gurria. <laughs> uh, fucking Taylor C. Johnny Rods. Or the unpredictable <laughs> Johnny Rods. It, it was, or Tiger Chong Lee. Or, they didn't people, want to see uh, it. It, 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 people, it, it. People was in a fucking riot. We yeah. definitely in a fucking riot. Uh, thoughts on that? Besides that? Well, I... I, I, I it, I don't disagree. Yeah, I, I do disagree, but I just it, it, it just it didn't fit. It didn't fit, and and, and it was a, and it was a stupid way to go for that. And, and I'll be completely honest here. You know, the early '80s for the WWF, WWF was shit. I didn't really care for it. Like the early '80s. Yes. Talk about like '81, '82, '83. Up to about '86 to '87, the WWF wasn't really that great. I'll yeah. be honest with you. Because yeah. I could tell you what one thing now. That, that, well, especially that, for me. It that, was well, yeah. well, and way before that, that right there, bench shit happened, you know. And even after it did happen, and they got, got knocked down like a motherfucker, you know. At that right there time, I was watching the NWA yeah. religiously. Because the WWE didn't have nothing. They, they were shitty at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the, 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 the NWA was yeah. wrestling. The NWA, I mean, I, I mean... And we and we all know that, that, that they put on great matches. They put on great pre reviews, and that right here is what really attracted people to them. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is great. Let's go with the next question asked by Jose Cruz. Now, Jose, <clears throat> we should mention this that uh, we haven't watched this yet, but I've heard so many great things about it. Uh, the thoughts on the Ring of Honor Pure Championship Tournament. Now, Ring of Honor has a thing going on right now. For the pure championship, they have a tournament, and from what I've seen, because I have seen some clips of uh -huh. it, and I have seen uh, you know multiple people talk about it, they're doing a lot of things right with this. They're making it a big deal, as far as they're doing like tells the tape on the the background of the people, yeah. uh, what they're doing there. They're doing in depth interviews on each participant in the in the in the tournament. Um, they have special rules for it as far as, you know, you know how Ring of Honor is. Yeah. You know, they have the Code of Honor. Yeah. And they also have uh, a rule of you only get three rope breaks. So, if you use all three of them up, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. 
use them very wisely. Yeah, you, yeah, you have to use them very wisely. And see that, like that, that's interesting. You'd be like, maybe I can get out of this, or should I go to the ropes? Yeah, and waste one of my rope yeah. breaks. Just sounds really interesting to me. Well, I think I, I think in this right here, you know, I'm just visualizing. I, I think there's going to be a lot of people going going out of the ring and walking around the lot. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Uh, would you be interested in watching it? Yeah, it's pretty I, I, interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. It's, it's different. I mean, I mean, who you know? It, in, in normal matches, you know, uh, it doesn't matter how many times you, you grab the rope. It's a rope. It's a rope break. This yeah. right here is going to be different. Three times. Yeah, it's different. Three times and you're out. Uh, very different. It's, it's not different. only that, but you got the people talking, like the people that are in the tournament. Yeah. They're talking about how they got there. Uh, their opponents. See, that's nothing. People won't get lost in a fucking tournament. Mm-hmm. You know, uh... Who, who the fuck did you beat? Okay, okay, so... I gotta so, buy. <laughs> so, I gotta buy. I so didn't get in there. So in other words... I had to buy. Well, they're, I'm gonna on, beat Adam on one side, they're, 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 they're gonna have, have, the, have the ones that, that's, that's their opponents, and on the other side, they're gonna have the ones that are gonna be facing each other. In other, in other words, they're gonna have all their acolytes right there, right there where you can look at it. Yeah, the television. Cool, I, I, I like that part. And it makes it, it makes a... It makes it more... Yeah, good. It yeah. makes a match more meaningful. Yeah, yeah, meaningful. Yeah. You know how AEW was supposed to have uh, the uh, sports-based wrestling that they were supposed to have? They don't have that. They don't have <laughs> that. They could say they do. Now, if you want to talk about this, this sounds more sport-based yeah, than what AEW does. Yeah. Unlike what yeah. fucking AFW brings none but trash and big bellies. <laughs> Beer guts. Oh God! And beer guts. Yeah. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. That company needs to fucking go because they haven't done shit. You could you could be in the demo all you fucking want to, for all my opinion. You still, you're, you oh. show still the shits. Okay. Hey, oh. hey, Melser says we're in the key demo, and they're still the shits. <laughs> okay. I'm be honest. When, they are. The, the most important thing. I, uh, that, it, it sounds very interesting. When does this supposed to start? I'm, oh, I'm, it, it, is, it, is this? It's, it's already started. Is, it, is this right here going to be like? Is this right here like pay per view, or or do you just? I think it's in the Ring of Honor show. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually probably want to check that out. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next question asked by Joe Long. Joe Long. What do you prefer, WCW Saturday Night or WCW Worldwide? Well. Let's go ahead and start with WCW. Well, hold on. Before before you get started. I watched both shows back we then. Should, we should classify this. Me and Tommy were a big fan of both shows. Yeah. Going back uh, going back to when we were born. Yeah. But, because, uh, uh, you know, me and Tommy watched a lot of WCW. Um, until it started becoming shit. And, uh... I, I, I just, I tell you what. The, the boys watch, watch WCW religiously. Every, every kind of a show, show, show that, 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 that they put out, they watch. Me, it got kind of like uh, the same shit we watched last week. <laughs> oh, Dad, that, that right here is, the, the retape all, all the matches for, 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 that, that happened in the past. Damn, I, I don't care about the past or the present. So what you, uh, why don't you go ahead, Tommy? Well, you know, the we worldwide at first was, they did have matches, a lot of matches. They actually. had a lot of matches. And uh, then around 97, 98, then around 99, 2000, all it was was recap show. Yeah. With one match. Yeah. Worldwide by 1998. It was just a recap was show. was a recap show. With one match. That They had like one exclusive match. That was it. And it's just like. You'd be lucky if you get two. Yeah. You know, be lucky sometimes you get two. But most of the time they only had like one match. Yeah. And the rest of it was like a recap from like. Nitro, uh, Nitro Thunder. Thunder, and even Saturday Night at some points. Yeah, they, but they, they, oh, 97, they, 98. Yeah, and the thing about it is that they throw them all in together for, to, to fill that out. And it's just like I it was really kind of not watchable then. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like. Well, I thought like, should I care about one match? Yeah, most of it was like a recap show. I'm sitting there like, what the fuck, you know? And then and sometimes the match ain't that fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Scotty Riggs. <laughs> and here comes his opponent, the Gambler. <laughs> The gambler. I like the gambler. The gambler. <laughs> the gambler. I, hey, I like the gambler. Uh, then on WC and Worldwide was 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 good was what all worldwide, the way in the eighties. What what Worldwide by the end of it was a was like an hour. Yeah. Where Saturday night was a two hour. Yeah. 
And then, once again, even Saturday Night, even in the late you know nineties, well, they didn't do all the recaps. Yeah, I mean, they had a lot of matches. They had some recaps, but I mean, they didn't do it as much as fucking Worldwide did. Yeah, uh, and Saturday Night had a lot of matches. Yeah, yeah they were jobber matches. They were jobber matches, power plant matches, but... Now, in 2000, was power plant. <laughs> yeah. 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 They always had a lot of Chucky e. P on there. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Prime Time Me, the skipper. Yeah. Here comes fucking shitty Kid Romeo now. <laughs> Do you like Kid Romeo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love Kid Romeo. Oh, you like shit. Chad Hart? <laughs> oh, don't forget Rick Fuller. Now. Rick you don't want to fuck with Rick Fuller. Uh, you don't want to fuck with old Rick Fuller. Right? And you damn sure don't want to fuck with Al Green, either. <laughs> The Big Al Green. You know who else you don't want to fuck with? Who's that? Frankie Lancaster. Frankie you know? the Thumper Lancaster, baby. I loved Saturday Night, even 2000. I don't know why. Like, I enjoy fucking squash matches. Yeah. But sometimes they were competitive, too. They were. Um, you know, uh, yeah. But if know, I had to choose, I preferred Saturday Night. Uh, guilty Pleasure for me and Tommy was, uh, was WCW Saturday Night Worldwide, especially in... In, in that time frame. And I'll have to agree to, uh, I always enjoy Saturday Night a little bit more than Worldwide. Pops! Saturday Night, hands down. I love Saturday Night. Hey, they, at least, at least there that. was a lot more matches. Hell, I, 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 I remember that right there. I, I, I watched it a couple days ago. Hell, I, I enjoyed Saturday Night more. You got to see the Viados. The Viados! They had a lot more matches. But, but, but after a while, it all got to look like men. <laughs> but, but I will say this, the only thing that really annoyed me about both these shows was the pumped-in crowd noise that they did. Oh, yeah, the pump, you can see. <laughs> crowd ain't making no goddamn noise. They ain't making no noise. I, I, I would see Saturday Night 2000 people just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, they're and sitting the there. crowd's cheering. <laughs> yeah, he was awesome. I was like, yeah. I was, I was sitting there like, who the fuck Here's is saying this? Here's Bad Barry Horowitz <laughs> making his way to the ring. Boo. And all of these crowds are sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, he was How they about both? like... Yeah, it, 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 it's about like 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 the match in Hodgesville. Corn and bread got crumbled. <laughs> Let's go with the last question for this edition of Five Questions. Uh, asked by two people. Uh, Cornelius McLovin. Okay. And a uh, good friend of the channel. Uh, Video Game XD. Video Game XD. Go check out Video Game XD's channel. Cash Game. Uh, Cash Game. <laughs> uh, go check out... Uh, their channel. Uh, let's go and go with their question here. Will you be getting the PS5 or the Xbox Series X or are you even excited at all? Uh, can I go ahead? Go ahead. I'm not fucking excited at all. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not excited at all. <clears throat> I know people are like, why are you not excited? Yeah, I thought you were a PlayStation fan. I am PlayStation. I like Sony. First thing, you can tell you why I'm not too excited. Mm. One, it's going to be fucking a lot of fucking money. Each of them, both of them are around $500. Yeah, I ain't paying you $500 for a fucking system. Or, Tommy, or Tommy, you can get the, uh, you can get the, uh, the digital only for a uh, 100 less. So you can get it for 400 Digitally only. Well, that means you ain't got no goddamn <coughs> stuff. Oh, yeah, no. If you do digital, that means you ain't got none. Or you got the fucking bird copy. Uh, that's like burning a CD. That's yeah, like burning a CD. You don't have the real thing. All you got is bootleg. Yeah. I, I hate digital copies. I don't really like. I I mean I understand why digital exists and I understand uh, why why they they push it. But I, I well, honestly I wouldn't care if they had digital if it was like cheaper. If it was cheaper, maybe you'll go with that option. But it's most times it's, it's the same fucking price. It's like nah, oh, fuck it. Hey, hey, and, pay an extra hundred bucks. and here's the thing, you know, people, people, you know, I, I hear people, you know, say, you know, well, digital is better. You know, maybe in some sense, maybe so. But, uh, but, but what happens if you, if something goes wrong with your system, that game is gone. Well, it's saved in the cloud, but. But the, the thing about it is, <laughs> and, and, and the cloud thing just don't appeal to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> And here's the I mean, I, 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 I mean, it's it, it just doesn't. And the reason appeal. why, another reason why I don't really fucking care, or not even excited about it. I mean, I've seen right, a lot of, I've seen the shit game. about it. Yeah. And, and here's the thing: you got to get a 4K TV if you want, if you want a fucking real goddamn PS5 experience, or even a fucking probably an Xbox Series. Same thing. Series X. You yeah, know, I'll, fucking. They're they're pushing the 4K resolution. 
Well, newsflash. None of us own a 4K TV. And here's nothing. If you just have a fucking HD TV, you ain't, you're going to get the same quality as PS4. You are. So why the fuck waste money? You got so it. All, they do is, all they do is say, you need to buy a 4K TV. Yeah. We want you to buy a 4K TV. That's all they're telling system. you to do. Fuck you and fuck 4K TV. 4K TV could suck my balls. Look. Okay? Look. And so can the PS5. Yeah. And so can the fucking Xbox Survivor Series. Or what the fuck it's called. Look, uh, I'm... Me... I'm, you know, I'm, that can fucking suck my nuts, too. I'm gonna... Because I'm this. not paying a lot of fucking money yeah. for a fucking TV when I can go to the pawn shop and get a TV. Uh, here's the thing. I'm sorry. Hello. I'm not paying a lot of fucking money. I, let's say example, you buy this, one of these fucking systems. 500 bucks, right? 500 yeah. bucks. Then you're going you to have to... go get the TV. If you don't have the TV for it, then you got to go pay for a fucking TV. How much is that? Another 400, 500 bucks? A couple grand. A couple, a couple of grand, grand back that. <laughs> And then you'd be spending a whole bunch of money. I ain't Donald Trump, you know. <laughs> I don't have that luxury. Well, you ain't no crook either. So. I ain't no crook either. <laughs> uh, I, ain't, I ain't no fucking orange fat fuck with a lot of money. Here is the deal. So, for me. so fuck both of them. Mm. That's how I feel. I've got enough bills to pay right now. I got enough. Like everybody else, if you're poor like, like, like motherfuckers like us, you, you, you got enough bills. You, you're having trouble just paying the bills you fucking got. Why, why would I want? Why would I want to add to, to the bills that that, that that I've already got for, for something you know that that really I don't give a fuck about because because you have to buy accessories to it. Yeah. So if well, I, well, 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 I got the TV. I got it. It's HD. I can watch HD anytime I want to. I I, I, I got I got I got a, I got a PlayStation Four, Xbox, all that shit. Why? Why would I? Why would I want to go and and, and Get this right here, the 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 the, 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 the uh, PlayStation Five and the fucking Xbox Xbox What, what the fuck is the name of the Xbox mother? Series X. Ah, uh, fuck that, yeah. Uh, and, and then after all that, after you spend the money for that right there, you you're, gonna, buy you're gonna be foolish enough to go out there and, and get a TV that's, that's gonna cost hell, you over. Hell, a, that's gonna cost you about a grand. Get, yeah. And there's nothing you can get on Black Friday. I'm not going yeah, to Black you. Friday during this fucking pandemic fuck to you save you a little all, bit man. of money. For a fucking 4K TV. Here's the bottom line. Look, I'll keep what I got. And I mean, I'll upgrade at a certain later time. on down the road. But I'm not doing certain it certain time. I, but I'm when this motherfucker time. goes down, the goddamn TV is well. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get get a, what, what What's the name of the TV? Uh, 4K. Uh, well, then we'll get a 6K. Uh, there's no real big difference if you don't have a 4K TV, no. and I and and I'm not gonna go out there and blow a thousand, two thousand dollars on a, on a brand new, uh, you know, 4K television. I like I don't my. Black. Well, you can get it on Black Friday. You're gonna go out Black Friday during this fucking pandemic, and fucking some people and, don't care. And fight and fucking and someone trying to fucking spray your ass or hit <laughs> on your ass. To, to get a fucking 4K TV, you know what I'm thinking of that? That fart. That's what I'm thinking of 4K TV. And not only that, I should say this too is, I'm just not excited about any of the games that they got coming out either. Me neither. Uh, uh, especially, uh, uh, especially, especially when some of them games are still going to come out on PS4. So why the fuck? Why well, worry about? It. You know they are. Because you can upgrade to 4K, Tom. Uh, 4K. <laughs> like I said, that fart's what I think of 4K. Yeah. Oh God, you fart. Yeah. Well, guys, we hope Let's you guys enjoyed the video. You guys did. Uh, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Rustic Rampage. Yeah, got a fucking two. You can have the old man on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage as well as follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream to the crop. And nobody does it better. You fucking right.